Hey, what's going on you guys? It's your man James aka JP finally back again with another toy room review I know I've been gone for about a month Maybe even a little more my work schedule has been extremely crazy with the holidays But now everything has slowed down and I'm back in full effect to making videos just like I used to uh, Gonna try for daily uploads if not definitely every other day But definitely this whole week is gonna be filled with videos So make sure you guys subscribe if you aren't already and have those notification bells on but today We're gonna be taking a look at the brand new. This is the tiny TV classics back to the future uh, has top scenes on tiny screens and what this is is a miniature TV that has a, a working remote and it actually plays scenes from and this particular version back to the future which is just amazing so let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging here so what I really love about the packaging is the packaging itself looks like an old-school TV you can see kind of the bezel right there as well as even like some fake knobs and whatnot over there but then bringing it closer in you can see it says tiny TV classics best clips from back to the future you got the open window here that shows off the TV that you get as well as the miniature remote which which is essentially like the size of the tip of my finger, which is just hilarious. Uh, down here you can see the DeLorean, and it has a Try Me feature, which we will try out in a second. And coming to the side, you can see some advertisement for the 4K Trilogy, which I do own, and I believe I did an unboxing for, so make sure you guys check that video out if you haven't. And what I also love is that the side of the box also looks like the side of the TV, which is a nice touch. And you can also see the clock tower here, and it says 80s right here. And coming to the back, you can see uh, some more advertisements on what it does. So you can see the TV says 88 miles per hour, and then it says best clip famous quotes full color TV and this is a series they have a whole line of TVs that says collect them all you can see the different versions right here so you have the ultra retros which is the 50s to 60s then, then obviously this one is the 80s then you have classic from 90s to 2000s and the millennial from two, 2010s to now and what I love is even the remote changes depend on what era it is so I definitely want to pick up some more of these these are just really really awesome and again, this also looks like the back of the TV. You can see in the background right there. You can see some of the inputs and whatnot. It's just really nice touches. And on this side, you also get the side of the TV or the other side of the TV, as well as that amazing shot of the DeLorean right there. And it says push button. So I'll go ahead and give you guys a quick preview, and then I'll go ahead and unbox this, and we'll take an even closer look at the TV. So here is the Try Me feature. Alright, so that is just obviously one thing that you can do, but I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the packaging so we can take a closer detailed look at it. Alright guys, really quickly, I just wanted to show off the cardboard insert that comes with this because it's actually pretty cool. So you can see right on the base it says Back to the Future, and then it's kind of hard to see with the reflections, but this is the scene right where the DeLorean uh, hits the, the lightning and goes back in time. So this is really, really cool. Cool to display with the TV if you wanted to put the TV there like that, or if you even wanted to display some of your figures with that, it's a really, really cool feature. So I really do like this little insert. All right, you guys, and here is the TV out of the packaging, but before we take a look at the TV, I do want to take a quick look at the remote. This thing is just hilariously small. It's essentially the size of my pointer finger, actually a little bit smaller than that, uh, but it's pretty basic. It just has your play pause button, your power button, channel up and down, and volume up and down. Now on the back, you do have this little hump here, but that's obviously for the battery compartment right there, and you do also have this little peg right here, which actually uh, pegs into this little hole right here on the back of the TV, so you can just attach it like so and that way you have basically storage for the remote I do wish that you could kind of store it sideways that way it's just kind of hidden from the front view of the TV because when you do have it stored it does pop out of the back of the TV just so slightly so I do wish that you can kind of store it sideways but unfortunately you cannot but that is the remote and it is fully functional which we will take a look at here in a second let's go ahead and take a look at the TV now it does come on this little stand essentially it's like a cart with wheels uh, the wheels do not roll or anything they're just all solid plastic pieces and the TV TV is permanently attached to it. Now there's this little screw down here and I assume if you go ahead and remove that screw that essentially you could remove the TV off the stand if that's something you wanted to do. I might do that but I'm unsure about it at the moment. I'm just going to leave it on the wheels as of right now. But taking a nice look at the TV, I mean it is painted very nicely. You can see the solid silver paint apps and even the, the black with the little dots and everything. Everything is painted really really nicely. Coming to the side of the TV you can see the power button and volume up and down. And then on the back you even have fake ports right right here for like um the, the AV outlets and whatnot, and the power cord, so that's really nice. And this is that little hole, again, where you go ahead and plug in the remote if you do want to store it, so that is very nice. And you also do have the antenna up here. And then on the top, it is just pretty basic. You do have this little hole right there. I'm assuming that is the speaker hole. 
uh, or maybe the sides are the speaker holes, I'm not really sure, but uh, this side's going to be the exact same thing, except you have the channel up and down, as well as the reset button, and then that is pretty much it, I mean the stand is pretty self-explanatory, it's just all grey plastic, but nice little detailing right here with the grey, with the texture pieces, as well as little black handles and whatnot. So yeah, detail is pretty basic. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at the TV. Everything I am going to be controlling is going to be via the remote, so I'm just going to have the remote behind the camera so you don't have my hand in front of the screen the whole time, but I'll show you guys really quickly. I'm actually going to cut these lights off as well, so you can probably see the TV just a little bit better, but here we go. I just pressed the power button. You can see this is made by Basic Fun, which also makes those arcades, that the miniature arcades. I think there's Mortal Kombat ones, all those little arcades that you find in Walmart. Um, the same company makes it. So we're just going to zoom in a little bit for you. So the more I zoom in, the more pixelated it ends up looking. It doesn't really look like that to the human eye. It's just kind of the camera trying to record the actual screen right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause this really quickly. So I just paused it. Uh, I'm going to turn the volume up, and I'm only going to play about five seconds of each scene. Now, I went through each of these scenes, and each of them are about 30 seconds, maybe even 45 seconds long, and there's about 12 scenes. So you do get quite a few scenes, but due to copyright, I obviously don't want to get copyright. So I'm only going to play about five seconds of each scene. I'm going to go ahead and turn the volume up. You can see right there, and hit play. Now the speakers on here are not that good, they, they sound pretty washed out, but I mean that's to be expected with how small this device is. Alright, so I'm going to switch to the next channel. And what I really like is that little gray fuzz that you get when switching between channels, that's really cool. Going to go on to the next one. I'm going to zoom out a little bit to just kind of get a better look at how it looks. So you see how it's not as pixelated? I'm gonna pause this while I talk. It's not as pixelated there. That's more so true to how it looks to the human eye. Again, so one, once I zoom in, that's when things just start getting a little bit more pixelated. But we're gonna go ahead and go to the next scene. So I'm gonna press play and switch the channel. Next channel. Next channel. Next channel. And yeah, the speaker is really distorted. I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit and switch the channel. Next channel. Next channel. Next channel. Next channel. And next channel. And that's going to recycle back to the beginning and everything starts over. Just like so. So I'm actually going to pause it and obviously I, I only played a few seconds of each clip because I did not want to get copyright. Obviously, uh, I don't know if YouTube's going to be smart enough to pick up this uh, not so good sounding speaker. I'm also just going to cut these lights back on. But this is a really, really fun little device. And the more I look at it, I really do think I'm going to end up trying to unscrew it and see if I can get the TV off the base. I'm going to look it up before I do it just to make sure that I don't break anything. But this is just such a cool device to have. And like I said, there's 12 scenes in here. And it plays about maybe 30, 45 seconds each scene. So you do have 
quite a few uh, you know varieties of different things you can play and like I said they are pretty lengthy I, I was only expecting them to be like a 10 second clip but like I said it's, it's close to a minute clip of each one so uh, yeah this is really really awesome this is gonna look great on my back to the future shelf and I'll put in some b-roll here of how it looks on my back to the future shelf but man this is just such a cool piece to have I'm a really big fan of that and it's just so cool that it actually comes with a fully functioning working remote I mean how awesome is that it's much easier to just pull this out and press play when it's on your shelf than to try and you know mess around with the buttons uh, as you can see that you can do right there and I am now powering it off and that's what it looks like when it turns off so overall like I said I'm a really big fan of this I don't know the exact price because this was a gift I think it's around the $20 range if I'm not mistaken um, but yeah this is really cool I definitely want to collect some of the other ones in the lines I don't know if each era is only specific to one movie or if there's multiple movies for each era that is one thing that I do want to check out but I would like to get some of the 90s and 2000s ones as well and maybe some other 80s ones if they have any other just to give you guys a sort of size comparison here is your standard Hot Wheel this is obviously the DeLorean from Back to the Future uh, uh, and this is obviously the tiny TV right here. So I'll put the Hot Wheel on top of the TV. You get an idea right there. And then this is the Jada Toys Nano Hollywood Rides, uh, which is obviously the very, very tiny uh, DeLorean right here. You can see how that fits in comparison. Uh, I would say the screen is just about the size of the actual Nano Hollywood Ride uh, vehicle. And then if you look at the Hot Wheel, I would say the TV itself is the exact size of the Hot Wheel as far as length goes. So that's just sort of a little bit of size comparison right so there. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. That link's in the description down below. And I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. So as always, guys, stay tuned for more. And I'll see you guys next time.